Two stories beneath the Denver Museum of Nature and Science sits a box about the size of a cell phone with a handful of bones inside. So this is the famous dinosaur that was found uh, at Coors Field. This is the fossil uh, dinger. Yep, that's dinger. He's fun. The purple. Playful. Polka dotted. Incredible optimist. Triceratops mascot of the Colorado Rockies baseball team. He is always excited to see Rockies baseball, see his fans. A mascot inspired by one of the last dinosaurs to roam what paleontologists call the Denver Basin. The Denver Basin goes from Fort Collins all the way down to Colorado Springs, and it preserves rock from right before the extinction of the dinosaurs. Tyler Leeson is a curator of vertebrae paleontology at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Oh yeah, every day I, I geek out. He says the origins of Dinger date back decades. In 1993, when they were building you know, Coors Stadium, a rib fragment right here um, popped up. Construction crews called the museum. After collecting the fossil came the task of identifying it. You can see it's a long cylindrical bone. The only bone that looks like that is a rib. Scientists knew it must belong to a dinosaur because of its size. They just had to determine which dinosaur. We can then take the rib from Dinger and then compare it with all of the common dinosaurs from here in the Denver Basin, like Edmontosaurus and like a Tyrannosaurus rex. And then we can you know, sort of figure out that the, this is most similar to the rib of a horned dinosaur. A horned dinosaur, like a triceratops, like Dinger. He was born in 94, hatched in 94, but we do not know how long his egg was underground. Just waiting for us to build this stadium and unearth his egg. A mascot and a fossil forever linked. We call this fossil the Dinger fossil because it's the fossil upon which Dinger is, is based. Well, yeah, that is correct. It, you know, it is another name for a home run. A small piece of Denver's prehistoric age. Yeah, there could be more there, though. Leeson would love to fully uncover. I would love to, to bring a team of volunteers out there with some shovels, dig up the field, and see if we can find the rest of Dinger. So.